Hey everybody, this is Dry Docs here, bringing you, uh, I guess, a day in a life. I've only done one other day in a life, and that was showing you the inside of our house and whatnot. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about all kinds of random stuff. But what I do know is, I'm headed to the store right now, and I am going to get a an energy drink and probably pick up some coffee, things like that, just to... Uh, keep the grind going stay awake and alert and things like that you know but uh yeah i really don't know what i'm gonna be talking about but we're gonna just go with the flow but uh, so i guess uh right now i'm kind of trying to decide what kind of energy drink i'm going to get from one there's all kinds of different kind of energy drinks i like like monsters there's amp there's Red Bull, but I think I'm going to get a monster. I think. We'll see when we get there. I don't know. Uh, anyways, so when I woke up this morning, all right, about, <laughs> here's a little story for y'all. About a week ago, um, I did like a little prank on my, on my little sister. I didn't get it on, I, did, I didn't video it, but I, she was like arguing with me about something. I don't know what, I don't know. Oh yeah, I, I forgot what it was. But anyways, I went upstairs and on my new DX racer, my MLG DX racer, she put uh, Cheetos, no not Cheetos, uh, what were they? Uh, goldfish, it was like Cheeto flavored goldfish or something like that, something weird, all over my DX racer. I mean literally like the whole entire bag poured on my DX racer and I was like, what the heck man like no i cannot believe she just did that i was i was infuriated okay i was mad so what i so what i did was i wish i went downstairs and went into her bedroom and got a full bottle of water and poured it all over her pillow and all over her, her bed her bed sheets everything was soaked her mattress comforter everything Oh my gosh, she was now she got mad. She got mad. So I thought we were we were uh, we were even at that point, but I guess not. Okay, I go downstairs this morning. Today is Sunday. Uh, I got a snip. <coughs> <coughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo. <coughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, where was I? <sighs> so I go downstairs this morning. And to go uh, cook breakfast and whatnot, or, or get breakfast, and I go back upstairs, and she was like, "Don't go to sleep tonight." I'm like, "What do you mean?" Or whatever in my mind, like, "What do you what do you mean? Don't go to sleep tonight?" I turn around, I go upstairs, and my whole entire bed is soaking wet. She didn't pour the whole bottle of water on my bed. I'm, oh my gosh! Now I have a whole mattress, everything is soaking wet, I'm having towels and whatnot all over it, trying to dry it out. It is oh my gosh i can't believe she did that is the, the brotherly sisterly love is is real guys if y'all don't have a little sister a little brother then y'all don't really know what i would be talking about but uh it is real that is for sure um we just got to the store here so i'm about to walk in there get me something to drink get some coffee and come out and continue the vlog oh my gosh all right guys we're in the store right here i gotta find some I find some coffee. Coffee, coffee, got some Gatorade, Gatorade. Coffee, coffee. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Ah, <sighs> what to get? What to get? I don't want to know. Is it? I don't really know much about coffee, guys. Uh, Colombian coffee, maybe? I don't want to know. What's this? Distinctively high. This is a medium dark. I'm just gonna roll with it and get this. That's how good. Store now. We are headed back to the house. So pretty much what I got was I don't know if y'all be able to see it or not. Hold on a second. Let me uh, show y'all. So pretty much I don't know if y'all can see. It. I got a big container of coffee. Um, also got a some Red Bull, the the blueberry flavor, the lemon flavor, I think. No, I got an orange, orange flavor and the blueberry flavor. Kind of hard to see, but uh, but yeah, that's what we are doing now. We're headed back to the house and gonna uh, get this video uploaded ASAP and whatnot. All right, guys. Another thing I want to talk about now that we're headed back to the house. It only takes like it's like right down the road, like five, not even five minutes. But anyways, so 
I did I didn't go to church this morning I went last week and uh, the reason why I didn't go today well I started I started back going to church last week okay so I was supposed to go to church today this morning um, but I had this like problem with like being around a bunch of people that I'm not comfortable with being around if that makes any sense I don't know if some of y'all can relate to that but if I'm not going with somebody it's really hard for me to like go out and and I guess be be there by myself with a bunch of other people that I don't really know. I don't know. I just feel very uncomfortable and it's really hard for me to go for some reason. So what I did this morning was uh, the sermon started at about 1045 and they uh, the church that I go to is uh, it's a semi it's a semi big church. So they have uh, they live streaming online. So I just went on there and watched it online. And uh, one of the things they talked about was uh holiness and separating your uh, like separation things like that so like what what that means is and the whole separating thing um there is a fine line there's a lot there's a line an imaginary line right so imaginary line one side of the line is like the bad bad part and then the other side is just all good stuff well he was talking about separation uh what i understood from that was whenever you separate yourself meaning there's gonna be people in your life that are, that are in your life, you know, that you know for a long time, or that you haven't known, you just met, or whatever it may be, that could have like a negative impact on your life, as far as doing like terrible things. And again, people are gonna have different uh, mindsets on what what bad things are, things like that. But in reality, overall, uh, things that will an upper in your life, like alcohol, drugs, things like that, I consider. I always consider bad, right? I just always consider that bad. And it's about, he was talking about separating yourself from the bad and you'll start noticing a change in your life for the good, if that makes any sense. So you're you're not gonna need, you're not gonna need the high and all this other stuff in your life because your, your new high is gonna be like, it's gonna be God, does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, so whenever you cross the path, I'm already at the house, guys. See how fast that was? So whenever you cross that path of, of uh, letting God in your life and just being uh, on the on the track of good things happening and uh, staying away from all the bad, um, you have to find it within yourself, holiness, find it within yourself to not cross back over on that line and be like, okay, it's good for tonight or tomorrow, and then I can go back being good. Like, it just doesn't work that way. You have to keep on the grind, just like making videos or whatever it may be, keep on the grind of having good things happen and letting the good things happen and separate yourself from the bad in life. Okay, I, I hope y'all are keeping up with me on this because a, a lot of y'all may, like my, as, ugh, I'm stuttering now, but a lot of y'all may know me as my mind is all over the place, so I just talk sporadically, very spontaneous. So um, anyways, guys, so long story short, if things are bad in your life, you know, try to work on it, you know, and God can help you with that and really try to work, tr try your best and find, try to find it within yourself to work on it to, and to separate yourself from the bad and stay on the other side of the line, on the good side, and don't just go and have fun for, like, you can have fun without alcohol and, and having drugs is, is what I'm saying. Like, you don't need that. You don't need that to have fun. It's all in your head. Like, you're like, oh, I need to get drunk and have a couple beers and uh, to open up my personality. Like, is it, it, like really it's all in your head guys everything is in your head like me getting up and going to church and being like nervous around a bunch of people that is in my mind that i have to overcome and that same exact thing with like drinking smoking dudes doing drugs and uh like swearing like cussing and things like that like you can mentally control that it's just having to find it within yourself to control that but uh but yeah guys that's gonna do it for this vlog i don't know what I, i've been talking about a bunch of random stuff um I, I just I don't know I can talk about whatever for forever but I'm at the house I'm gonna go and get this vlog up load it really not really not much else to talk about unless y'all want to see me um shoot a basketball backwards let's see me shoot a ba basketball backwards let's see what we got going here I was a 2015 national champion at uh no, I'm just kidding okay let's see here's the here's the goal let's see if I can make it <laughs> what if I make this all right. Not, not even close. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put one in here real quick. Okay, yep, I'm a, I'm a basketball MVP. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed the video. That's gonna do it for today's video and be long.
Oh my gosh. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't done that already. And by the time you're watching this, I'll probably be live on uh, twitch.tv slash But yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, we've done that already. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Peace.